Hey guys, welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Dave. Um, we got another case here that came in on emergency. This is a stray dog. We think she's uh, part Great Dane. She's really, really nice, but she's also really scared, as you can see. Um, a really nice lady who worked for our local shelter found her on the side of the road. She had a chain wrapped around her neck that she was dragging. She'd obviously busted loose from whatever horrible place she came from. Um, and so we have done a thorough exam and checked her out. We did a little bit of blood work and she does unfortunately have heartworms, but she's overall really, really healthy. Um, except you can see she's super, super skinny. Um, she's actually one of the skinniest dogs I've ever seen. Obviously, I haven't been fed really at all. Um, she's not spayed. She's probably had a couple of litters. Um, we think she's probably locked up um, for breeding purposes and just basically a backyard puppy mill. So we're going to get her fed and get her filled out and um, see if we can kind of get her, win her over a little bit. She's real scared, but um, I think we can get her feeling a lot better. Her name's Lucy. Her foster owner gave her a name. She's doing really good. She's put on a lot of weight. She actually gained 20 pounds since we saw her last. Um, she's not here for any reason except for us to just look at her and see how she's doing. Um, give her some treats and kind of get her used to being at the vet's office. She's got another couple weeks before we can treat her for heartworms. Um, but she really loves her foster mom. And uh, I'm really happy with how much weight she's gained and how good she looks. It's uh, Lucy's big day today. Um, She's getting her heartworm treatment. We're gonna put a catheter in her and take some x-rays and sedate her a little bit and then give her their shots. She does have some inflammation in her airways, which is not uncommon um, with heartworms. There's a picture of her heart here. These are the some of the some of the damage and the inflammation here. Um, it's just another angle. So it's not surprising. I, I, I it's still safe to to do the heartworm injections, but at least we know that. They've been there a little while, um, and we're going to be doing some good getting them out of there. Now I'm going to shave Lucy's hair between her fifth and her third lumbar vertebrae. What we're going to do is give her an injection on each side in the muscle, one today and one tomorrow, as long as she doesn't have any reactions. Um, and then she has to wait for a month before she can do any running or jumping or hard play. And then uh, in six months, we'll retest her and hopefully she'll be negative for heartworms. And so if you don't like needles, don't look because this is a big one. Um, I'm using it alone because I want to make sure I get it just in the muscle, not under the skin or anything like that. We're going to keep her here today and um, she's going to spend the night with us. We want to make sure she doesn't have any reactions or doesn't have any, any pain or anything. And then we'll do one more shot tomorrow and um, then she goes home and rests. It's time for day two of Lucy's heartworm treatment. We're going to do it the exact same way today. Give her a little sedation so she doesn't move and give her that big old shot. I realize that we have a lot of viewers who are not from the southern United States and some even not from the United States at all. So you may not know what heartworms are or why they're bad. So it's actually exactly what it sounds like. They're worms that invade the heart of a, a dog and also a cat. They're spread by mosquitoes. So we have them all year round here in, in Texas. Even in the winter time, we, we see them. Um, the mosquito bites the dog. Uh, a tiny little pre-heartworm gets into their bloodstream and swims around for a while. Usually it takes about six months and then eventually end up in the heart. And um, you don't have to be a, a vet to, to realize that that's not good. They can cause lots of problems with the heart. Um, they can cause problems with the lungs. They can decrease significantly the lifespan of your dog and even kill them. Lucy is done with her heartworm treatment. Everything went great. We're going to keep her here tonight. And uh, as long as she does okay tonight, she can go home and then she'll be ready to get adopted and be part of somebody's family. We're doing our last checkup on Lucy. Um, she had her heartworm treatment, treatment a couple weeks ago. She's still really nervous here, but she's doing really good. It's okay. Um, she looks great. She gained even more weight, and she's loving life at her foster home. Um, we're still trying to find a forever home for her, but I think we'll find one soon. She's going to make a great addition to somebody's family. She can't get spayed just yet, but we'll spay her here in a few months um, after she's heartworm negative. But she's doing great. Obviously a lot better than when we saw her. No more chains in backyards. No more running down the highway. Um, she's doing awesome. So thank you very much for everyone who donated to help her out. Uh, Vet Ranch helps dogs like this out all the time. Keep those donations coming in. And um, we'll see you on the next case.